In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Gmail interface and just kind of go through an overview of the new interface. Here you see um, I'm logged into my email and across the top we see mail, calendar, documents, all of the Google apps that are available to us. Over on the right, you're going to see your email address. Um, also, if you're set up to, um, you can sign out here. You can also switch accounts or go to account settings from here. And then in the corner here, we have the options wheel that will allow us to go into mail settings and look at the mail help as well. Then we have the search box where we can type in a, a search criteria like a person's name or a subject. There's a down arrow that's for show search options. When we click on that, it gives us more options to search and find email. Uh, there is a video tutorial on using advanced search also included in the library. Um, here we have mail and you'll notice it has a drop down arrow that we can click on and we can switch to our Gmail contacts as well as task. We have our compose button that allows us to create new messages and then we'll see inbox first and then the different folders that we have here or labels. Uh, below are these are the labels that I have created versus the system created labels which will uh, have a tutorial on how to, to work with labels. Then across the top here we have our action buttons. And you'll notice right now there are only three action buttons. We have the, you know, th to select all messages or simply select unread messages, that different thing, or none. This is the refresh button. When you click it, it just forces the browser to check the server to see if you have a new emails and then the more. And you'll notice with more at this moment, there's not much you can do. However, as soon as I click a message, we see additional buttons appear. This first button is the archive button. It allows you to keep the email, but just removes it from your inbox. Report spam. The Gmail filter will once in a while miss a spam, and by reporting spam, that helps improve Gmail's filter. And then we have the delete and delete items will stay there for 30 days and you can still retrieve them. After 30 days they'll automatically empty. Here we have the move to and this allows us to move emails from our inbox to a label and we have our labels here and there'll be a video that will show and talk in detail about how to utilize the labels and moving things to labels. This option is labels where I could assign a label you will possibly I could sign one here called customers to the email that's currently selected and now I see a customers label. You can also create new labels from here. Then I have the more option which allows me to do things like mark this email as unread or add it as a task or filter messages like this which we will talk about in another video. Then finally over here we have um, the option to sort of put our oldest on top or the newest. And this is if you have more than one page of emails. Um, if there were more than one page of emails, these would be available to go back and forth between the pages of your email. Now I have turned on a feature called Preview Pane. And this is a lab, which we will talk about labs later. But with the lab, I can come here and say I want a vertical split. And then it will take an email and when I click on that email it shows me the information here. For now I'm going to turn off that. Finally we have the settings for the display and how the Gmail displays. And If I hit my down arrow you'll see that I'm currently set at compact. That's my personal um, preference however you might prefer comfortable in how it spreads out the emails that way or even cozy is another option. This is purely up to you. Now you will notice that here in the background I have you know ocean showing. This is called a theme. Uh, by default with the new interface you won't see anything but white. So if you don't like the white background you come up here to the options wheel down to mail settings and the last option is themes. And there's different colors that you could choose. Um, you could also you know, use a beach scene or a mountain scene, pebbles. And all you would have to do is simply click on one of those and it will change automatically. 
and you'll notice that some of them have clocks um, that let you know that they'll change periodically. So those are available to you. Now the last thing I want to just quickly go over is sending an email. You would hit compose and then you would type in the person's name. So if I wanted to type in to my boss, I start typing in Don and because I email Don Nichols frequently, his name floats to the top. Gmail learns your habits and will start floating those names that you email frequently, floating those to the top. Now when I select Don, you'll notice over here the option consider including and it will list some names. This is based on who you've emailed in the past when you've emailed Don. If you do not need to email anyone else, then you can just ignore these or you could click on the name to add them to the rest of the list. You've got your CC and your BCC, place for your subject, a place to attach a file if you need to do an attachment, and then you have different buttons here that will allow you to um, bold italics, kind of format your email. Once you've typed your email, you have a send to send the email. You could save it as a draft or in this case, I'm going to discard it. That is just a very quick overview of the Gmail interface. Um, please refer back to the website for additional videos with more details. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact training at apu.edu.